Is a new hooker as well. It just defies belief, actually, in this professional era. Bristol are a professional side, aiming to go up to the Premiership. Robin Hislop is off the Scotland Under-20 International 22 just this week. Marshall Gatt is on, he's a big man. Longton boy, played in the first 15, 19 years of age. Now 29. Brings with him plenty of experience, that's well worked. Is it from Brisley? Fighting for possession here, Mosses. That was delayed pass. Trainer, he won't stop working. The loose head prop to Puna Robinson. Floats one out to Eve Zamesbury. Comes back inside, end to end stuff here at Clifton Lane. Puna again. Is that knocked on from Glen Townsend? Uh, I'll have to leave a wee bit like it, but the referee's allowed it. Sorensen now. He was the one earlier with a brilliant hand to. Keep them all in the hands of the men in white shirts, the visitors, Bristol. Robinson doesn't want it yet, he wants his forwards to do a bit more damage, come around the corner a bit more. Amesbury's gone back now from his left-hand side out to the right, he's back inside. It's a pull-back from Eves to Amesbury. Bristol with some good possession here, Ross Rennie. Cut back by Gad, the new man. Robinson again, never the carry from Ross Rennie. Puna again. Robinson, bit of space in front of him. Robinson slowing that ball down there. Work of the breakdown, far better in the second half. Bristol just unable to get that quick ball. Just uh, been speaking to the guys on the Bristol bench and uh, a bit of a change in heart. The next time they get an opportunity, they're going to take the three points rather than go for the seven. I think that just shows the respect they've got. Let's see if they uh, follow through with it now. That's exactly what I was thinking, Pat, because they were building and building the momentum. A penalty was about to come. It has come now. So we'll see if that word that's gone on. <laughs> Robinson is going, he's looking to the touchline. That's where they normally go. And all of a sudden, you're right, Pat. The words came on, Sorison said, right, we'll take the three. Well done, Sherlock. First penalty in 23 minutes, 24 minutes. The Rotherham can see his first penalty in this second half. The discipline has been much better. But you're absolutely right, Pat. The, the respect that Bristol are showing Rotherham for Nicky Robinson to go for the post here. But this is what they'll always have well, they will have to do come to the playoffs. Leeds, strong side, Welsh, strong side. Maybe Scottish being there, Rotherham looks like they're being there. So again, when it comes to uh, playoff rugby, again, they get a home and away. The nerves happen. We've seen that last year, didn't we, with Leeds beating Newcastle? It Red does happen. It does jangle you. And this is what Andy Robinson, the coach, wants to get these guys experience that. And I think this is the absolute correct decision. Yeah, what I love about this, though, Dowie, is that it just it, this is an insight to what Bristol are going to do come the end of the year. They they, yeah. they might be seven point gamble until now, but when it really matters, they're, they're going to play proper rugby. <laughs> Win by a point. You're absolutely right, Pat. And they can always come back to it, can't they? They can come back to someone like Robinson, Andy Robinson, and his fly half Robinson, who can kick those goals and use all that experience he has. Right, but the, 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 the whole, I guess theme of the game now at 31-19 that those three points were a huge three points it's the right decision but to be honest like I said it's the insight that it gives to what's coming towards the end of the year they have played around with players played around with tactics this Bristol side this season and at times people say wow look at those results and the, the money that's been spent on the squad they've gathered but Harry Robinson is a shrewd customer he knows he only needs to win that top four come the playoffs and then it's all to play for you can get the tether off can't you but but they're under pressure i mean that's an investment that the owners do and what they set themselves up that's where they bring you know robbo in that's bring sean holly that's where they get the players because they want premiership rugby but with that comes the pressure and they have let the players 
what police as you are, it's taking those seven point gambles that can always bring it back down. We've seen it tight work at the mall in that first half. We've seen Robinson kick quite brilliantly today. Here's Murphy for Rotherham. This Rotherham side we know will not give up. Here's Jack Roberts for the Clandovery man. is on. And his first action, unfortunately for him and Roller, is to knock the ball off. Ben Skirving on there, you'll have a little bit of experience and a bit of more ball carrying. Again, Bristol won't be tending to put the foot on the accelerator here, they just need to get the ball through the hands, get the big guys coming back. Concertina, the defence in the middle, and then when it's on, maybe Robinson will pass the ball out. Sure Davis is on this right wing as well. Roller will get the penalty. See the turnover coming, couldn't you? Please move. They won't give in, will they, Rotherham? They will not give in. We got blitzed in that first half, three tries, and we thought, oh well, we've seen it so many times, haven't we, Johnny? Game over. You know, that's it. It's just, it just depends on how many points Bristol are going to score. And fair news to Rotherham, they've come back. Bristol have just opened their chest a little bit wider. It's quite often the way with top sides, isn't it? Blitz away in the first 20 minutes. If side then crumble mentally, then the game is yours. But such a healthy lead that Rotherham are always playing catch up rugby. As Ben Glynn comes on for Glenn Townsend. And Jack Tubby is on as well. For Charlie Ainsbury out wide. Good to see him back from his shoulder injury. Sustained against London Wells back in November. Lost another line out, unfortunately. Again, it's the key area. Key job of any hooker, get it, through, get it right. Well, not so much the hooker, obviously the jumper. The combination between the two. They just pop that ball. Bristol go through the phases now. Exit strategy. Big boot, big box kick. They have that lead, don't they now? 32 up points to 19. Try to help Mike and Keating this. Oh, he fizzes it out to Cecino. Juan Pablo Cecino. It's a try. Literally just finished saying, do not write this Rotherham side off. <laughs> what a moment. Michael Keating was denied on the left hand side 10 or so minutes ago. He wasn't denied through the middle that time. What a pass as well. And this is a great break, because it Keaton goes straight through the middle and just watch this for vision. That is a superb pass, doesn't matter whether you're right, that's if he's left. So seen an only a superb kicker of the ball, rumoured to be going to Newcastle, if that's true. Dean Richards, another Dean, has got a tremendous signing there. It is Keating with the pass, inch perfect pass, doesn't break the stride. And now Cecino lines up to see if he can make it a seven-pointer. And I'm going to be very quiet now. 19 points today. Cecino. Now wide. What a kick from Cecino. No one's missed them today. I'm just thinking kick nope. Robinson's kicks. I think they've all gone over. Cecino's kicks have all gone over. Lee Blackett, like he said, he'll never criticise their guys. He only criticise them if they've got no heart, weak tackles, not up for it. If people have a go, he will back them 100%. And that's what Keating did, and that's what this lad did. Superb. And that's the big thing about Lee Blackett, isn't it? Look what it means to the fans. He backs his players, his man management is superb. And he said to us even today, coaching these guys all the things that I couldn't do to pass off your left and right hand and that was a wonderful pass from Keating it really was but full tilt put it in front of Cecino because he was under pressure and here's Quigley best of luck with man of the match now by the way <laughs> I'm giving four two from both sides white on feet but blue isolated there you know, Quigley, the tight head. Straight away, it happens so many times. A bit of genius on one side, you get back really, really, really right back into the game and you give a penalty. And Bristol will go for another three. Like I said, no one's missed a kick 
all afternoon or early evening now, isn't it?